What is good friends, we are here with the OLT around 7 losers bracket match, a series between Shoka and Sabella. I'm just going to talk about the teams real quick, you guys can expect way more OLT, I recorded all the other series live, but this one is going to be replay, I recorded the other, the other round 7 game live, I recorded eight, round 8 matches live already, everything way more matches but this one I had, had didn't, I don't have live recorded and I don't, don't have that much time at the moment so I was like let's just do this replay uh, these replays for the series so it's most likely gonna be Sash lead drill with rocks for Shoka uh, then rock Pelipper Z move Kartana for attacks Swampert or 3 attacks Toxic since he has an extra move slot because rocks are on X schedule so he doesn't have to run rocks on Pert and I assume these two are gonna be specs and yeah Sabala's team Defensive Lando Scarf Lari Spediff uh, Therosaurn, probably Z-Move Greninja, could also be Z-Move Tren and the Mega Mawa, probably SD3 attack, so let's get right into it. So we see uh, Excadrill, an Excadrill lead versus Greninja, Shoka is now most likely gonna switch. Um, Sabella can go for Dark Pulse because he can try to fish for a flinch so that the drill doesn't get it off quick off or doesn't get his rocks up. Um, yeah, Shoka does not have the best answers for this, he goes into Pelipper, um, this is definitely gonna do a good chunk. Okay, so we do see that this is most likely a Z-Move Greninja because I think Specs would definitely do more, yeah. And the thing is, if it's a Z-Move Greninja, the Pelipper dies. It dies to Darkinium Z, it also dies to Hydro Vortex because it's um, rain boosted. And Pelipper doesn't have the best Spidev. So if it's Hydro Vortex, Shuka can potentially pivot into Kingdra here uh, to prevent the Greninja from getting Ash. Because if the Greninja gets Ash and kills the Pelipper right here, Shuka loses his, his rain pretty early. Like his rain will stay up for a few turns, but he's not going to be able to reset his rain. So that would be really bad for him uh, if he just loses his Pelipper here. So let's see if he tries to scout for Hydro Vortex or Dark. Like for Darkinium, he couldn't really scout, but for Hydro Vortex, he could scout. So he stays in, he just stays in. Assume he went for a U turn. And he dies, and Sabala's gonna get his Ash from here. And now he's forced to go into one of his Rain Sweepers. I had to scare the Greninja out. So he goes into Swampert, and the, the Ferrothorn is just sitting there. So if Sabella, uh, if Shoka has like some fighting coverage to hit Ferrothorn, he can go for that. Uh, or he can also double into Katana if he breaks the Ferrothorn to come out. But Sabella might not want to go Ferrothorn because like Ferrothorn is really nice checking Greninja, Kingdra, everything in this game. Also checking Pert, obviously, but like. If there's multiple mons that you have to check with Monmon, you can't, you're gonna get overwhelmed. So, like, knowing that he might not want to go hard to it. So he does go into uh, Landris here. Um, I think he breaked it into uh, Shoka to go for a fighting move, breaked in the Feral Thorn. Uh, so, but I guess that's correct. So, um, I'm pretty sure Landris lifts a minus one uh, waterfall. Uh, even I think it even lifts the Aqua Tail. Also lifts Ice Punch. So, um, Sabala can either go for U-turn here. Um, U-turn would cover Shoka going into Kartana. And it would also live a hit from Pert unless he gets flinched or crit. Uh, it would also live a hit from Pert and be able to U turn out to get some chip that might bring the Swampert in range from Ninja's Hydro Pump. Like when the rain was, runs out. Runs out. Um, yeah, that would be nice for later. Um, but yeah, Shoka might go Kartana here, um, predicting Sabala to go into Ferrothorn. Because you might think Sabala might want to pivot now into Ferrothorn, predicting like an Aqua Tail, predicting an Ice Punch. Uh, but U-turn also works for Sabala. He doesn't necessarily need this Landris healthy. So we see um, Shoka did go into Kartana. And we see Sabala stayed in, so we already know that he went for U-turn most likely. Uh, so he can go Greninja here and click Dark Pulse. And his only switch is like the Kingdra. Because the Swampert would, uh, I think, die from Dark Pulse into Water Shuriken. And he does get a crit, so yeah, the Kingdra is also in Water Shuriken range now. Uh, I'm actually not sure if Swampert would have died from... I don't want to calc that, but I don't have that much time, so I'm not going to calc it. But yeah, now um, he's probably going to sack the Kingdra to Water Shuriken. The crit sucks a lot. Um, he doesn't have good Water Shuriken switch ins. It's, it's rain boosted, and even though it's not specs, it's still an Ash Grin. So now he's going to be forced to go into uh, his Swampert again. Unless he's Scarf Katana, but like I said, he's probably Z Move Katana. And yeah, Sabella is just going to. like. It seems like he doesn't want to go Feral. He wants to keep that healthy, so I think he's just going to go Lando again. And let's see if Shuka predicts it this time. He just predicted, Landris lives it. Um, so the rain ends next turn. I'm not sure if Sabala wants to keep this around. Okay, he keeps it around, goes into Heatran. And wow, Heatran eats that up. And the rain is gonna end now. I mean, they lift because of the Intimidate, obviously, right? So now, if this is a max speed Heatran, it outspeeds the Swamp by up because the rain is gonna end. So you can either get up um, like a Toxic on the Pert or like some Magma Stomp chip damage uh, if he's a max speed Heatran. 
So he's max speed, uh huh, and he gets 20% off with a magma storm. He's gonna die to the hammer arm. He hammer arm just in case the pharaoh storm comes out. And yeah, Sabella's not gonna be able to bring out his pharaoh storm. And if I get up a spike or click power whip, I'm surprised that Shuka went uh, stayed in to go for hammer arm. I thought he would go into Kartana here. Let's see if he goes for spike or power whip. Power whip would just get rid of the perd, obviously. As he disconnect and he does go for power whip. Swamp is dead. So now Shuka is gonna go into Kartana, I would assume. And that is some sort of SD Kartana. Um, SD3 attack, so SD sub. Um, so yeah, I think Sabella is gonna sack the lander here to get the intimidate. If this is a sub Kartana, it would definitely be nice in this scenario. And you can sub first, then you can leave plate, kill the Lando, and then you can cancel out the Intimidate um, because Beast Boost will obviously bring him back to neutral attack. Um, so now Sabala is. Huh, what can he go to? If he has like f Fire Fang and Mobile, or like. He can go to that potentially. Um, otherwise, he's probably gonna have to go to Scarf Lari to break the sub with Draco. And. Um, whatchamacallit. And then he can scare this out with Greninja. Uh, yeah. After he breaks the sub, he can scare his Katana out with Greninja again. So I'm thinking Mobile or Lari are gonna come out here. Okay, Lari. So he's gonna Draco, I assume, because I don't know if Psyshock breaks the sub. Uh, even if he subs again, um, Draco would still easily break the sub because Katana's Spit Life is awful, it's trash. Um, so we do see it went for Z move, so I assume that is a Darkinium. So it was probably, um, yeah, Z Night Slash. Not probably, it was Z Night Slash for sure. So Lari is gonna die here. Um, Greninja is gonna come out here and pretty much get a kill, right? I could also. No, I think Greninja is gonna come, right? Yeah, goes Greninja, I can click Dark Pulse here. Um, doesn't have to risk missing. Shoka goes to his own Greninja. Um, so what Sab Sabella is going to do here is... Um, maybe Dark Pulse in the Water Shuriken, if that kills, that's definitely fine, because you don't have to risk missing Hydro Pump. And yeah, Sabella cannot... Okay, he goes hard for Pump. Maybe Dark Pulse into Shuriken didn't kill. But it's like Shoka cannot really kill this Greninja at all. He just goes for Dark Pulse, he gets some chip. And yeah, Sabella can now go for Water Shuri and pick off this Greninja. And Shuka has to go to Drill here because Drill is Sash and can live a hit. And even if Sabella goes for Water Shuri, I'm pretty sure it doesn't occur to Drill. Um, so the Drill can go for like off quick here to pick off the Greninja. And at this point, I think Mega Mola wins the game for Sabella. So he's gonna go Mowal here, probably click Sucker Punch. That's not really. I don't really see an out for Shoka at this point. Um, I mean, Sabella would have to choke at this point. Or Sabella would have to miss a lot of moves. Yeah, I guess he could try to sub. And I hope that Sabella suckers. I hope that Sabella um, only has like player of sucker and thunder punch. And then he has to hope for like a player of miss so he can get up a sub. Let's see. He just goes for leaf blade. He gets a crit. He has player of. Yeah, so like if he like dodged a lot of player. If he dodges a lot of player offs. And then like he sub SDs up, uh, not, not even as not even subs, but if he just SDs up, like he has to SD up to. Actually, I'm not even sure. Like at this point, it doesn't matter. He had to dodge the last player off because at this point he's in range from. Um, I think thunder Pu thunder punch would kill from here. So like, Sabla doesn't have to risk a miss. Like knock off or thunder punch, whatever he has, he can just click it and be safe at this point. Um, so yeah, this game is over. I mean, Sugar can like. Yeah, like, he tried to SD on a sucker, but, like, he didn't have an out at this point. So he just sucker punches the game ends. And, yeah, I'll find the replay for game 2 real quick. Sabala's up 1-0. Um, this is a loser bracket series, so if Sabala wins the next one, he moves on to, I think, round 8 loser bracket. And the loser of the series is out. So if Shoka wins this, we will see a game 3. And if Sabala wins the game, the series ends right here. So let me find the replay real quick. Okay, back with a game two, looking at the teams real quick. That's either Specs or Bantuba from Sabella's part. Most likely defensive Lando is quite weak to Zygarde. Uh, probably Spadef Rotom uh, with the berry that heals at 50% once you get to 25%. That means that you can afford to run a shift gear Megina because this Rotom checks Greninja. Uh, even though like Megina is still a big threat to his team, but at least it helps him with the Greninja. I assume both sides are going to be Zarex. Zard is just not that good at the moment, gets walled by Pax. And he, they both don't have a Tita to support versus like Lari. Like I just don't think it's that why. And the the Lari is most likely going to be Scarf on Sabala's team. So looking at Shoka's team, um, he has Mew and Tangros. To like th that's enough to deal with Zygarde. So I assume that this Lando can be could be Scarf. Could also be Scarf Jirachi. 
Um, but yeah, I'm not sure about the Jirachi set. If the, if the Landorus Scarf, the Jirachi could be like something worse as well. Like it could lure in the Landorus, Forzad, with like potential Icy Wind. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking the Cocos either Specs or Z move, and let's get right into it. I don't have that much time left. So we see a Zard lead versus a Coco lead. Like, Shoka should see that this, is, this should be a Zard X, right? But the thing is, if it's a Zard Y, he doesn't have a good switch in. So like, he might just click T Bolt, fearing the Zard Y. Um, Zardex is gonna take like less than half from that, and yeah, if he, even if he, even if it's Zardex and if it's Lando is Scarf, he doesn't have good switch, switch ins to that either. So like it's tough for Shoka here. So he might just go for, like if he thinks it's X, he might just go for Dazzling Gleam to get the most damage, or he might just T-Bolt thinking it's Y. So he just T-Bolt. I mean, this is understandable because um. If it's if it's why he didn't have a switch in, and if it's X, he still gets a decent amount of damage off. Like that, him wouldn't have that much, would not have done that much more than T Bolt, because electric terrain boosted. Um, like the T Bolt is boosted, and like even if he volt switch, I think like I think he's offensive land, like from how he has played that. Because if he's scarf land, and like Flabbits would do a lot to Lando. So yeah, Coco is obviously gonna die to the Blitz. Uh, Shoka can go to his own Landorus here if he's Scarf or to his Jirachi, depending on which one is the Scarfer. But like I said, most likely the Lando is going to be a Scarfer because otherwise he could have tried to vault into Landorus. Um, yeah, so he's probably. Sabella's going to go to his own Lando to, or to his Rotom Wash here. So I assume Shoka is either. Yeah, I think Shoka is going to U turn here. I'm actually thinking that the rocks are on the Jirachi or the Mew. Probably on the Jirachi since yeah, the Mew should be Defog, the Jirachi should be Rock. So let's see if he Defogs or HPIs. Yeah, he does U turn. Did I say Defox? I meant U turn or HPIs. Did I say did I say defog? I'm not sure. But yeah, he's gonna um, U turn out. So now if he has like some lure on the Jirachi like Icy Wind, he can go to that because he knows this is Landorus is defensive. That's that he knows that from the U-turn damage that he has done and from looking at Sabala's team. But he could also go to Mew and um But the thing is if he goes to Mew then he has to predict the Zard to come out. Unless he has Earthquake. Um like because uh, he cannot just will wisp because like that lets in the Zard for free. Um so I'm thinking he's either gonna go to to his Jirachi or to his Zard. Um let me explain to you real quick why. Like Jiraji, if you go into that, he could have like potentially have icy wind. Um, but yeah, if you go into Zard, means uh, he kind of bluffs that he's Zard Y. Um, or he could also be HPI Zard X. We have seen HPI Zard X in Snake games, I think like twice in Smog and Snake Tour. Um, it doesn't kill Lando from Fall though. I think he needs special attack investment to kill from Fall. But yeah, Sabala is uh, most likely gonna switch into Ladi here because it covers uh, the Zard X going for HPIs and it covers. Um, it also covers Zard Y. So like if you're Shoka and you have that mindset, you have that in mind that Sabella like will probably scout for Zard Y. You could just go for Dragon Claw here predicting the Lari. But like, I'm pretty sure that uh, Sabella is gonna go to Lari here. But let's see if Shoka predicts that. What the fuck? So he goes for Flame Charge. Um, I'm so I'm a bit surprised. Like if the Lando stayed in there, he didn't even stay in regular form. So Lando could have hit him with Earthquake the next turn. Um, like I don't know what he predicted there. Because if you predict the Ladi, um, like Flame Charge doesn't do anything because the Ladi is going to be Scarf, so you're going to be scared out here. Sabala's obviously forced to Draco here. Um, I guess he predicted. No, I just don't know. I cannot tell you what you predicted there. But yeah, Sabala's going to Draco here. Shoka's going to switch to Jirachi or Tangrose. Jirachi is going to be able to eat it up. As we can see, it comes out. And. We do not see lefties. I assume he's gonna go for rocks here. As Sabella brings out his Landorus. And let's see now if he has like some icy wind lure or something like that. I assume Sabella is either gonna um, get his rocks up here or go for U turn. Oh, what? Z move Jirachi, that's fire. I did not even think about that. Like, you guys could see, I, I thought about like icy wind to lure and Landorus for Zard X, but I didn't think about Z move. That's fire. Um, that also Oko's Toxapex. Um, that's nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk a bit more about Flame Charge ZX. It was used in Snake as well by lefties. It was like a Roost Flame Charge as D side with Dragon Rush, which is um like Dragon Rush you run that it's not accurate, like it's not full accuracy. 75 accuracy I think. But um I think it gets like important KOs. Like you can like KO packs up plus two better. I don't know, I think you need like rocks up for it or something like that. But like it blows away some like certain ones that you don't kill with Dragon Claw. Just wanted to talk a bit about, about that set. Like that set in general is cool, but I don't understand the flame charge play um on that turn earlier. But I think Sabella just went for U-turn on his own rocks here. So yeah, you can just go for uh, psychic here. Sabella's most likely gonna switch out. 
he can still keep the landers around as fodder. So he goes in a Rotom, kind of confirming that he's like a Spadef Rotom. That still has a good chunk. So yeah, um, two more Psychics would bring the Rotom in his berry range. So, so I can go for will wisp or Volt Switch here. See, Iron Heads <laughs> for 4% and I don't know why Iron Head, but yeah, Psychics. Since the Iron Head flinched, uh, like since the Iron Head first and then Psychic this brought him into berry. Um, yeah, he will wisp or volts here, so he will wisps. Um, so now he's bronze, so he, I assume he's gonna switch. No, he can just psychic, yeah. He can just psychic again, he weaken the Rotom a bit more. Rotom can volt switch out. And yeah, so now Sabella can go into his Magir now, or. I mean, he could go Hooper because Hooper doesn't have good switch ins. Yeah, like Hooper or Magina is what I'm thinking. Because if you go Zart, you have to take rocks. No, actually, Zart dies to rocks. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I didn't. I forgot it was that low. I thought it was a bit healthier. Um, but yeah, this gear is most likely shift gear. And at the moment, the set uh, with focus blast or flurken is quite common. So he could be like set shift gear common focus blast flurken. Um, people prepare. People prepare a lot for bolt beam again at the moment. So that set is not that common anymore. Um, so yeah, Shoka is probably gonna switch out into. Like he's either gonna try to flinch this down with Iron Head, but he's burned and he's at minus one. So like I don't think that does much for him. Um, but before this gets up a shift key, he can do that. Or he can also go hard into Tangros. I assume it's gonna be a solve as Tangros. Uh, depending on the gear's coverage, the Mew might also beat it. But if it has the Flurken, especially Z Flurken, the Mew would get blown away. So he does Iron Head and he actually gets it. I'm surprised that that still does nine percent uh, because it's burned at minus one. But it actually that confirms that it's uh, offensive Magina, not Spadev. So he's actually gonna try to flinch this down, it's crazy. So he, does, he gets a 9% and he gets a 10% roll, really he gets two flinches. Um, Sabala uh, obviously gonna try to get the shift gear up so he cannot get flinched more. Let's see if he gets it up. He does get the shift gear up, so now Shoka is gonna be forced to switch into um, Tangros or Mew. Thinking he's gonna go into Tangros, it's all with Tangros. Uh, let's see what he goes for here. He just goes for T-World because that would have killed the. That would have killed the. The Jirachi, right? I'm a bit surprised by that he has T-Bolt. I actually thought he would be the, like I said, the common set. But he could have T-Bolt and still be the f the the, t the Flurken Focus Blast set and just have T-Bolt over Calm Mind. That's uh, definitely an option. But yeah, Tangos is still healthy. Um, so Tangos can go for Earthquake here. So he goes for Z-Move, I assume this is uh, either Z-Ice or Z-Flur. Because like, you would not go for like, you wouldn't go for like Gear Vault Havoc, obviously. So I was assuming that it could be Ice or Flur. But yeah, it's Flur. Uh, Tangos eats it up, he's gonna Earthquake here. And now since he wasted the Z move, um, Shoka can switch out, get Regenerator here, because he doesn't wanna let this get a Soul Heart boost. So he's gonna switch into Mew here, Mew is still healthy. Let's see what uh, Sabala goes for. Did he, um, he went for Focus Blast. So the reason why he went for Focus Blast is he does get, he does get an unfortunate spin death drop there. The reason why he went for Focus Blast is, um, his other moves are T-Bolt and Flurken. T-Bolt doesn't kill the Tangros and Flurken would drop his special attack. So it makes sense that he went for Focus Blast. But the drop sucks because now something is gonna get, have to get sacked to Flurken. So he's either gonna sack the Jirachi or the Mew here to the Flurken. Uh, if it connects, it kills um, because of the drop. It does connect. So he's at minus one. Um, because if you go to minus two, you get your Soul Heart. So he's gonna go back to Tangros here, I assume. Yeah. So he's probably just gonna go Jirachi here, get his region back. Uh, the Tangros are still useful and Jirachi doesn't really do anything at this point, so I think the Florican comes out, yep. So, now he goes into Zard or Tangros. And the thing is, um, Sabella Zard dies to rocks. And this is at um, minus two. So like Shoka can click Roost here, because if he sacks the Zard, that's a fine play. If he stays in, you can eat the hit because he's at minus two. So Roost is completely free here. He does check a Sekizard. So he does um, he does roost up. So this forces Sabala to go into a Ladi. Um, and yeah, he can just go for Draco here. I think Tangros would get 2 hit KO'd from Draco. So he goes Tangros, it's gonna be able to eat it up. It's Assault Vest. And yeah, the next Draco would kill, but now Shuka can pivot into his Lahandras because the Ladi's at minus 2. So the, the lander would be able to eat a hit. So he goes into the gear there. Um, I guess he didn't want to be in with Ladi and be locked into Draco, but I'm not 100% sure about this play. The thing is, if you Earthquake here, um, you give the Ladi another free Draco, and that pretty much gets a kill. 
like or um yeah like glad to get the cobra draco if you off quick here because like there's a scarf so that yeah you lock yourself in but the thing is that, that was tough for shoka because he didn't really have a play because if he u turn then gear stays in then he doesn't kill either and i don't know if stone edge would have killed if stone edge would have killed then i might have gone for stone edge it's like a kind of type of mid ground play but yeah now that he just clicks draco gets a kill and like okay he stays in but he's locked into earthquake so like this doesn't do anything so yeah it's about like just draco again he could yeah i was about to say he could even switch out <laughs> because this is locked into earthquake he goes into zard well and um the thing is even if Zard goes for flame charge i think he went into zard um trying to catch like the rotom or yeah, I think he was trying to catch the Rotom, but the thing is, at this point, he, he couldn't even win the game because, like, as long as Sabella doesn't choke, um, Shoka can't win. Even if he flame charges up, uh, Scarflat, he always checks this. I assume flame charge is gonna be able to kill the Landers from 16 because it was not intimidated. Sabella goes back into Ladi here. Um, I guess Shoka has to hope for a miss. Yeah, Shoka has to hope for a miss. Draco gets a kill here as long as it hits. And it does hit and uh, uh, Zard goes down, Landorus dies to rocks and the game is over. So Sabala wins the series um, 2 and 0 but this was a bit hacksy. I mean he can switch out here. Uh, he can just Draco again, doesn't really make a difference, okay. Uh, yeah, so Hooper probably, yeah, yeah, exactly, makes no difference. Like the only way that Tengus has to recover its health is Giga Drain. And the Hooper is gonna come out and can just click its Dark Stab. Kill the tank. Okay, gets a crit, speeds it up a bit. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the next series that I have for you is gonna be um, yeah, it's gonna be live. Um, I actually that's a series that I recorded with my friends and call. But you guys all know my friends are wild as fuck. So they talked over each other. They talked at the same time. So I'm gonna have to redo that series. Um, really unfortunate. Uh, it's like super annoying because I'm recording so many games and like if I have to redo a game because these guys in call it call out too wild, then I just get super annoyed. So in the future, you will most likely see only me on the channel. My friends will not appear that often. Uh, only sometimes and then only one or two extra people. Because if we add too many people, it just doesn't work out. But thank you guys for watching. Sabella wins 2-0. and oh. So that means um, uh, he's in round 8 OT um, loses bracket. And he's going to play the winner of the series that I'm going to upload in the next days that I live recorded. I don't want to spoil it. I know most of you guys already know the result, but I don't want to spoil it in case you haven't seen it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day.